had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but you're being a jerk. You could seriously hurt people. Oh, come on. Come on, don't do me like that. You have to admit, you've been having a little fun along the way. All those guardian fish, the temple. Hey, see, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're going to love it. That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. But no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Strays, pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, oh, we need to protect the people! Run! Hide everyone! <laughs> I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Mm-hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. When we get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another hunchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you that you didn't need me anymore. Of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Uh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me... I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? Your thing is that you help your friends. You're the best friend I've ever had, Petra. Yeah, I, I guess. And I feel the same way about you, of course. she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? Oh, we know her all right. She kicked me for absolutely no reason when we found her in a cave. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot that lovely little talent. If I had to take a guess, I'd say you probably deserved it. Everyone get away from my Llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. 
If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Can't believe you're all alone. Thought you had people to do things like this for you. Huh. That's what you think. But when Champion City is threatened, I am not going to refuse the call. Uh, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see. I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa. The, the moon is stuck. Okay. That's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Ugh. I know you said my thing was helping my friends, but I want the record to show she is not my friend. Just FYI. <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, I found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, uh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. I'd leave him alone if I were you, Stella. Unless you want to try me again, that is. If I remember right, that didn't work out so well last time. You act so high and mighty, but you really are just a bully sometimes, you know that? Come on, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? I haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. Please, please gather around. 
around. Y don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This? This is all for you! New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you! Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'll give you one thing, Admin. This place is pretty spectacular. That's what I like to hear! I knew you'd understand. Oh, ho, ho, I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Stella, come on. The admin is dangerous enough as it is. Let's not add to that by fighting with each other. Oh, Jesse. That sort of reverse psychology isn't going to work on me. Especially not for my own rival. I... seriously? little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do with a prize like that. Okay, hang on a sec. I am not the admin's little buddy. <laughs> I'm just saying, you two were looking pretty chummy up there. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. <clears throat> That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? 
No one's getting left behind here. <sighs> Fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Oh, oh, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Miss filing your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, Excuse well, my, my skin alarms, and, and they think they know me. They think radar. they know me. Ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Ah. That's it, Luna, Ooh. darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! The admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Choice. 